continuation with Revelations 13 through 14. <coughs> now going to 25th October 1994. <coughs> I don't know if I'll be able to find uh, uh, 10th of February 2004. 25th October Point number four, but we skip that. We go to point number five, which is right here. <clears throat> there was a quote of Isaiah 30, verse 10. And now to you, I put these questions. Are you still willing to be my Akon? Are you still willing to continue carrying my new song in your mouth? The new song of Revelation 14, verse 3 is true life in God. And are you still willing to bear the cross? of unity with my almighty son eternal salvation the anointed king yes lord <clears throat> soul fall into my arms <clears throat> the father almighty <clears throat> voice was joyful only eternal savior's voice was heard doctor your generous heart will satisfy my thirst then the holy almighty spirit also touched, well, blessed ones, I will complete you my <coughs> work, and I will continue to set springs to gush and ravine. I will supply each soul with everlasting water. Immediately after the Holy <coughs> Almighty Trinity spoke, there was a quick exchange of embraces. The Father Almighty hugged me, then the Almighty Son, and then the Holy Almighty Spirit. At this exchange of embrace, my soul never felt more in total collaboration than at this instant with my heavenly family. <coughs> I felt I belonged to them and to no one else. No, just wait. <coughs> the Father Almighty now spoke again, Doctor, if you are willing to obey my will, I shall wield my authority across these people through obedience and, and, and end the apostasy. That is by our obedience, which is found in Second Corinthians somewhere. So we'll skip that. <coughs> we'll go down. But no, it's, it correlates with Second Corinthians there. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now. Okay. Okay, 10th of July, 1992. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Believe, my sweet people, I, eternal salvation, love you. Have my peace. We will work together. I and you will spread my message. Now it goes on. <clears throat> July 10th, 1992. There in front of the throne, they were singing a new hymn in the presence of the four animals and the elders, a hymn that could only be learned by the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the world. Revelations 14, verse 3. Lord, I am. I am speaking to not doubt. But Sula, child of God of my sacred heart, allow me to write a few lines for this afternoon. Dearest friends, I have come all the way from heaven to sing to you my new hymn of love. And mind you all of my faithful love. <clears throat> I am your best friend, your dearest holy companion. All along, I have been by your side, and although I have been many times ignored, I remain with you to make you feel my presence. Every time you were about to rebel against me, I, the Lord, full compassion, grasped you by the right hand to draw you in my heart <clears throat> and show you my infinite love. <clears throat>
now going back. <clears throat> Day and night, I am waiting for your abandonment. Do not delay. Abandon yourselves entirely to me, so that you may be able to be in my light. If you love me, allow me to do what I think best for you. Do not fear. Offer me your heart, and I shall place it into my sacred heart to consume it. If you love me, as you say, you will sing to the nations my new hymn of love to glorify me and raise a new life for each soul. <clears throat> Revelation 14, verse 3. My heart to you I have offered. We offer me yours in turn. Love is by your side with the sigh of my love. On your forehead, I bless you and your family. Be one. <clears throat> Our Blessed Mother says, I am by your side to console you, but I too, when your mother needs your consolation for greatest anxiety of my heart. Many of my children are rebelling against the most high. I need your prayers. Offer me your prayers for my intentions. Basula, David, ch children of the King, tell them to live as children of God. Oh my... <clears throat> Uh, 22nd October 1996. <clears throat> it goes with James 4.4. 4. Also for, it goes with the 40-day total fast right after his baptism in the month of January to February and a little bit of March. <clears throat> Today, to my great sorrow, a huge population from every country is being drawn to worship the beast and he has become for them their ruler and their god. They have accepted his kingdoms and their luxury. They have become the traitors of the earth. Yes, they have set their hearts on the fruits of the world. Deceived by Satan, they promote error, obsessed with their sins. They promote liberalism and the like. Defying the truth <coughs> and the tradition of my church. The lie is defying the truth. So I want you to pray for them, daughter, son, for I love them too. Pray for they are under the influence of evil forces. These dark powers of the underworld are deluding them and interfering in their priestly ministry. These evil powers of hell are after my consecrated soul to draw them to believe what is untrue. You're well aware of the depths of my wounds. And I have let you know how much I suffer by trickling from your eyes tears of blood, manifestation that only a few saw on Basula while she was praying in the Dublin conference of October 19th, 1996. <clears throat> How could I not suffer when I see my very own, whom I love dearly, be so utterly deceived in accepting this deadly poison? This is why I am telling with insistence, pray for them, and regard them as the brothers to you who need correction. Today, this deadly poison is affecting my consecrated soul. This is the smoke that penetrated into my sanctuary. This is the smoke spoken of by Pope John Paul VI when he said, somehow the smoke of Satan has penetrated God's sanctuary through hinges and holes while we were asleep. They are breaking the law of my church. The law is AAS. 73 slash 1981 pages 240 to 241 law against membership in Freemasonry and their sin will condemn them unless they repent now they are the gangrene of my body who listen to my almighty word but do not obey it nobody can imagine them irreligious when you see them but you will always know them by their fruit which is disobedience disobedience to this law of my church. The law AAS 73 slash 1981 pages 240 to 241 law against membership in Freemasonry. <clears throat> Disobedience to the vicar of my church. Disobedience to the tradition of my church. Disobedience to my entire law. Frantic persecutors of my 
messengers who revealed them and their plans to the entire world, promoters of liberalism, persecutors of my able who oppose them and who oppose them and who instruct my lambs in virtue, defending my law. The ables are the consecrated souls who please our Lord. These ables are of whom scriptures say. These are the ones who have kept their virginity. Virginity stands for faithfulness and not been defiled with women. To follow the Almighty Lamb wherever He goes. They have been redeemed from amongst men to be the first fruits for God Almighty and for the Almighty Lamb. They never, allow a, they never allowed a lie to pass their lips. No fault can be found in them. Revelations 14, verses 4 through 5. And then there's reference to Daniel chapter 12, verse 3, Luke 20, verses 9 through 19, which is also Matthew 21, verses 33 through 45, and Mark 12, verses 1 through 12, which is Holy Week scriptures. <coughs> And so, perhaps we go there. Why have they not listened to me when I said this parable to the people? The parable of the wicked husbandman. The scribes and the chief priests who were there listening to me got annoyed at once. And if it were not that they feared the people, they would have laid their hands on me. They still I have tenants who are in my vineyard, the church, who act like the wicked husbandman towards those I am sending them. Not only do they mistreat them, but they would be ready to sell my blood too. Eternal salvation means abolish his perpetual sacrifice. <clears throat> now going on. Oh, what sorrow, daughter, what agony to see them pose as men devoted to my law. But I who read in their heart, who know the contents of their heart, Now, I tell you again, followers of the beast, that the day you will fall on that stone, you'll be dashed to pieces. Anyone it falls on will be crushed, it says in Luke 20, verse 18. That's a Holy Week scriptures we're reading. And you, doctor of my charge, even if the evil powers in all hell are working through them against you, it is because they realize you're a danger to them and that my messages regarding the beast of holy favors, Revelation, Revelations chapter 13, are aimed at them. Yes, you have become a menace to all these dark powers and Satan will go as far as to put even nature against you. <clears throat> and then it uh, continues on. <clears throat> and, uh, okay. The day you eternal savior speaks to the rebel up here I will unmask to the nations your entire plan of destruction I will reveal to the entire world the intentions of your heart don't I remind my children that I am their rock and I will never fail them I have solemnly warned them previously and I will persist to keep warning them be always faithful to me and to the tradition of the church remain faithful to the institution of my Eucharist. And this becomes the the mystery of the Last Supper, the Eucharist. <clears throat> now, 15th of September, 1991. <clears throat>
We're going to the part that, <clears throat> okay. I tell you, if that time, if that time had not been shortened by the intercession of your holy mother, this goes with Matthew 24, verse 22, a Holy Week scripture, the martyr saint in the pool of blood shed on earth, from Abel the holy to the blood of all my prophets. Not one of you would have survived. I, God Almighty, am sending angel after angel to announce that my time of mercy is running short and that the time of my reign on earth is close at hand. I am sending my angels witness on my love. All who live on earth, every nation, race, language, and tribe. Revelations 14, verse 6. <clears throat> I am sending my servants, the prophets, to cry out in this wilderness that you should fear me and praise me because the time has come for me to sit in judgment. Revelations 14, verse 7. My kingdom will, sudden, will suddenly come upon you. This is why you must have constancy and faith till the end. My child, pray for the sinner who is unaware of his decay. Pray and ask the Father Almighty to forgive the crimes the world ceaselessly commits. Pray for the conversion of souls. Pray for peace. Ixus. <clears throat> Let's see if we <coughs> uh, continue on in here, just in case, because this is a has bear some similarity. Okay, <clears throat> perhaps twenty ninth of September, nineteen eighty five. Okay, St. Michael, feast day, have my peace. Is I unlimited salvation? My archangel, St. Michael, wants to be courteous to you since you remember that it is his feast day. He will satisfy your good disposition. St. Michael, he says, Friend of our Lord, I, Saint Michael, greet you in the name of our Lord, Most High. Do you know what is holding back the wrath of God Almighty? No, I do not know. I will tell you then, little soul, yes. Little souls who persevere in prayer, fasting, and penance. Through these, many will be saved. Ah, Bethula, child of God, never cease praying the rosary. Never cease asking me for my intercession. May honor and glory be given to God Almighty for his inexhaustible patience. At this moment, I suddenly had for just two seconds a doubt. Wait, going back. Must have been okay. At this moment, I suddenly had for just two seconds a doubt, which left me almost immediately. She said, and I burst into a great joy again when he said, "See, it is not worth it. Come, be confident, and do not fall into temptation. See, it is not worth it. Listen and continue to listen to your Father, Almighty, in heaven. God Almighty is not unattainable. He is at everyone's reach." So call your Abba, and he will hear you. The most holy, almighty trinity wants everyone to reach and enter into the highest heaven. Happy are those who die in the Lord. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Fear God almighty. Always praise him. Worship your maker and love him. Always. That goes with Revelation 14, verse 13. I, Saint Michael, the Archangel, 
bless you in the presence of the most holy, almighty eternity. In the presence of their holy angel, Saint Michael. While you are working, you can see and while you're working, you can continue praying. I have to prepare a dinner. That is why St. Michael said to pray while working. 